This video will look at adding a catalog item to the Employee Center. So I'm logged into Employee Center here and I want, I have a, I have a new catalog item called uh, Desk Bobblehead and I want that to appear in the IT hardware menu. When a user clicks in there, we have a list of all the different hardware and I want my Desk Bobblehead catalog item to appear in this list. So go to the back end and I'm here on my catalog item, desk bobblehead. And it's just an empty item. So I'm going to go to taxonomy, content taxonomy, and we can just go to taxonomies. So first I have to find the taxonomy that my portal is using. So out of the box, uh, they're using the employee taxonomy. If there is some doubt as to which taxonomy we're using, we can go to portal configuration. So there's employee center administration portal configuration and take a look at this record and we can look at the taxonomy and it is indeed using employee here. And I have another video for how to change this setting. Okay, so we'll go back to our, let's go back to the taxonomy. Actually, let's go to it from here. So we're using this uh, taxonomy and we can see there's HR, there's IT, and there's risk and compliance. And actually risk and compliance has no items in it. That's why it's not showing. Um, so we want this catalog item to appear under IT. We go in there and then we can go to child topics down to hardware. And so hardware has more child topics, but we're just going to stick this item in uh, at this level. So now we go to the connected content tab. Do new. So we have three options here, either a catalog item, a knowledge article, or a quick link. In this case, it's going to be a catalog item. And then the form asks us for which catalog item. So we can pop that up and do desk bobblehead. And we'll submit that. So now we can see desk bobblehead is, has a connected content record under the hardware topic. Let's go back to the front end. We'll do a refresh and I have it sorted by popular right now, so it might not show up. Let's go to A to Z and I see desk bobblehead here. Now, interestingly, it did not sort uh, this in alphabetical order. This one is the first one to appear. I'm not sure why that's happening. Have to look at that. Uh, but our desk bobblehead did appear here. And we can go in here and we have the empty catalog item. Now, um, it has happened to me that the item does not appear after doing that. And one possible reason for that, if your item does not appear, is if you go back to the item, so I will just get go to it from here, right? Catalog item, desk bobblehead. This will bring me right back to the, to the catalog item record. If your catalog item does not, is not part of a catalog, so let's remove it from service catalog. And we go back to the front end and we'll sort by A to Z and it probably disappeared already. Yeah, it will not appear uh, in here. So it has to be part of a catalog. Uh, most commonly the uh, service catalog um, or if you're in HRSD, the human, human resources catalog, in order for it to appear, to appear in here. So let's just stick that back there to watch that. And we'll do a refresh. We'll do this. And bingo, our desk bobblehead is back. Uh, a side note to this is that when you're using Employee Center with the taxonomy structure, the category doesn't matter anymore. 
uh, for the catalog item. So this only affects if folks are using the back end here, which I don't think anyone is still doing that. Uh, requesters are using the back end to request stuff uh, in the self-service menu. Um, then this category would matter. But if you're using Employee Center um, exclusively, uh, then uh, everything gets organized by the taxonomies. So that is a summary of adding a catalog item to Employee Center.